Hey guys, Matt from SoundRolling.com. Just wanted to introduce you to the UltraSync and just give you a little overview of uh, what everything and where everything is. Um, so we have the couple of connectors on the side. Uh, sync, this is for word clock and for gen lock. And then we have LTC in and out, which is both for um, audio timecode and what I'll call uh, kind of normal timecode, um, connecting straight through a BNC or actual um, sync option. Uh, you'll get two cables. The red one is for uh, the normal timecode, as I'm now calling it. And uh, a blue one is for LTC, which is um, audio timecode. Um, so then we have how to turn it on. Um, you press this big button. It'll tell you to press these two twice, and then you can turn it on. So it's up and down at the same time twice. And uh, if you've got big thumbs like me, it's easy to even do that one-handed, which is nice. Um, and now you can see that we've started on zero, always start on zero. Um, there's a little uh, sign down here saying CH, um, which stands for channel, and then we're on channel two. Then we just need to make sure that our wave or whatever we're connected to um, if because this is a slave, it's waiting for the blink network to come alive. So um, B, I guess, is for like standby at the moment. And then we're looking for that green LED to come on. So we're going to actually change the mode to internal gen TX. And let me uh, just zoom in that for you there. Internal gen TX. And then what's going to happen is once we click that and we make sure that we're on the same channel, so you'll get choice of channels, and obviously we still want channel two because our current one is on channel two. If my camera can focus that far, I think I've broken it. Um, so <laughs> yeah, then we press that, and now all of a sudden, magically, we're green and uh, everything is synced. So we've synced both the time uh, from the sound devices, the wave, and now the ultra sync. Um, this will run up to about 200 meters if it ever kind of goes out of uh, range, uh, then it'll just default to free run, but obviously still from the same point. Um, so yeah, very cool. And then you're pretty much set up and ready to go. Uh, you can plug in and it comes with a BNC connection, uh, but obviously you can buy all the other cables or make them yourself. Um, and yeah, then you can connect to anything. Limo, uh, four pin Limo. Uh, the choices are near endless, um, depending on what you're trying to plug timecode into. Um, and obviously 3.5 as well uh, for the audio timecode only. So that's a nice little intro for uh, setting up the UltraSync 1 to a wave. So uh, there's definitely more videos that I'm doing on this in various different combinations just for uh, kind of individual scenarios people have, and maybe troubleshooting as well. So you can always leave me comments down below and I can uh, redirect you to hopefully some other more useful content. So that's me for now. I will see you later.